your purpose. It's something everybody talks about, but few people actually understand well. For some people, they know exactly what they want to be when they grow up, and for some people, it's difficult to figure out. It can feel extremely daunting when you don't know exactly what you want to do with your life. You feel lost, you try to figure it out. The good news is, you are not alone. There's billions of people in the same position trying to figure it out just alongside you. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can go about finding your passion for yourself. Hello, good listeners. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Cliff Weitzman. I'm the CEO of Speechify. And in this channel, we talk about my entrepreneurial musings, my idea on how to make myself and other people the best version of ourselves. And today we're going to talk about how to find your purpose. I've had many moments where I didn't know what I wanted to work on myself. Here's a roadmap for how I walked through you know, my life and my career and how I figured out what my passions were and how to spend all my time working exactly on those. So first of all, you know, is purpose innate or something that you figure out for yourself over time? And if you study something in university, are you tied to working on that thing for the rest of your life? When I was in preschool, I wanted to be prime minister of Israel, a billionaire, a pop star, and I wanted to get a Nobel Prize. Over time, I got to know myself better. And I realized that I actually didn't care that much about being a billionaire. What I cared about is creating as much value in the world as possible. And this came from an essay I read by Emerson called On Wealth. I realized that actually politics has a lot more red tape than I wanted, and I could improve the world a lot more as an entrepreneur. I still love music. I spend less time on it than I would like, but it will make sure that I have a song that I write that ends up on the top 100 charts on Spotify one day. And I'm still obsessed with science. Uh, I take care with it all the time, and I'd be surprised if I didn't end up making some sort of very significant scientific discovery. I'm not exactly sure how I found those trajectories as a kid of things that I was excited about, but I can tell you that it was not those things, you know, I'd probably be excited about basketball or parkour or gymnastics. When I'm exposed to something and I'm curious about it and I'm interested in it, I start to dream. And my brain immediately kind of finds a way of like, how can you careerify this? The thing is, if you can make a thing that you're very excited about, something that can also support your lifestyle, you found a really amazing thing. Now my purpose in Speechify, if you really look into the why, the why is I want to make sure that reading is never a barrier to learning for anyone. The most important thing to me is to be the person that I needed most when I was young. And so the first thing that I did is I just spent a lot of time thinking and dreaming and experiencing new things. The second thing that I did is I listened to a lot of audiobooks. I listened to about 100 books a year. To find a career-led purpose, there's really three things that you want to intersect. Number one, you want to have a natural aptitude for it. Number two, you want to have a natural joy from doing that thing. And number three, you want to create some value for society by that activity. So Jack behind the camera, you know, he's naturally better at figuring out how to use editing software and camera gear than I am. He actually gets a lot of joy from it, specifically from the storytelling side. And he creates a ton of value because a lot of people need to have their stories told. For me, it's inventing. You know, I'm actually super creative and I'm good at coming up with ideas and I'm really good at executing against those ideas and that creates value in the world. Are you locked into the first career you choose or whatever you study in university? The answer is obviously no. What matters is you more than what you know, and your growth mindset, and your ability to learn, because all the information already exists in the internet. Here's how I think about how the human brain is put together. You try to gain as much knowledge as you can over time, and then by thinking, and by writing, and by talking, you organize that information in your brain. The cool thing about now is all the information is one click away from you, via your phone or your computer. And so your brain just needs to be a really good decision-making machine, and execution machine that gets things to happen. So what you studied in school doesn't matter anymore, because it's not the information that you studied. It's the mindset and the training in being a good thinker who is persevering that is most important. Why is it important to have a purpose? There's a great saying, you know, love your job and you'll never work a day in your life. And it's very, very true. I get so much energy from everything that I do when it comes to Speechify and I don't feel like I'm doing a job. I feel like I'm living my purpose. For me, it's even more cool because I get to travel the world, work with my best friends, work only in the hours where I get energy. So I, for example, go to sleep quite late and I work like you know, three, four in the morning often, but I might not start working until 10 or 11 a.m. after I went for a run and you know worked out. That gives me energy. I had you know one real job in the past and I had to show up at like 7 a.m. and work until 5 p.m. And between noon and 3 p.m., I was just exhausted. I was a zombie at the desk. But more importantly, there's real meaning to the work that I'm doing. I'm not just pushing around paper. I'm not just like trading stocks. I'm creating real value that changes the world in a material manner and really leaving a legacy that I specifically care about. And when I started Speechify, one thing I quickly identified was I get the most pleasure by increasing the quality of people's lives. Uh, your purpose does not need to be career-led. You know, it can be that your purpose is to be an artist, to be an athlete, to be a mom, to be a dad. And that's the thing that you really want to focus your life on. In which case, either you have some sort of uh, other financial support or you find a day job that supports you financially, but your purpose does not need to be your career. And that's a very important thing to realize. It just happens to be that, you know, for me, my career ended up also being my, my focus. It could have been that my purpose would have been music, in which case I would have worked a normal job until I found a way to make music support my life. Always, 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 always 
take the role that you get, will get more energy, will you find better friends, will you grow more as a person, will you learn more and what your purpose is, and don't care about the money to begin with, money will by and large solve itself. Because if you've put yourself in the place where you're going to learn the most, you're just gonna create so much value that you will get to harness some of that value for yourself and, and that's the ideal. The ideal is not playing a zero sum world, but in a plus sum world where you add value to the equation and then you can harness that value and that's gonna make you more financially than, than any other alternative. There's a very powerful book by a psychologist named Viktor Frankl who went through the Holocaust. And he came up with a really good framework called, uh, you know, one who has a why can bear any how. And so for him, the why was, you know, finding his family at the end of the, end of the Holocaust. And somehow that allows you to defend your brain and put up a wall and just slog through anything. There's another really good framework that was presented by Simon Sinek in a TED talk called The Golden Circle. And it talks about the what, the how, and the why. For Speechify, the why is we wanna make sure that reading is never a barrier to learning for anyone. The how is, you know, we build really good deep learning based text to speech. And the what is the iPhone app, Chrome extension, that actually enables you to have that functionality. But because I have such a strong why, you can never convince me that text to speech was not going to solve the problem. You know, Speechify didn't work for the first like, two years we didn't have really great retention people didn't use the app much but I didn't quit because it was clear to me it changed my life text to speech fundamentally changed my life for the 15 years beforehand I went from being a kid who could not perform in school to being the top of my class and being the most well-read person that I knew and it was just because of text to speech so even though people didn't use it my why was so strong that it, you could not stop me because the market told me my product would not work and yet I refused to stop and so for example if you are someone who was obsessed with audiobooks and audiobooks change your life or podcasts, or text-to-speech. Send us a message to Speechify, we'd love to work with you. So your purpose is not necessarily something that's like already inside of you. You have to go out and find it in the world. And the way you find it, you unlock it by having different experiences, by reading books about the lives of different people, by talking to other people who you're inspired by. You know, I still to this day will send five cold emails, Instagram messages, Facebook messages a day to people who I find on the internet and think are really cool and then I'll invite them to hang out with me, I'll go hang out with them, and I get inspired by them. I find new purposes in my life often by learning from other people and by having deep, deep conversations with them. As always, thanks for listening. Click the link below to download the Speechify iOS app, the Speechify Chrome extension, the Speechify Android app. Subscribe to the channel. Go back and watch a couple of the past videos. Uh, you'll find them interesting. I recommend uh, how to build a trillion dollar company, and we'll see you again next week.